The first time my heart was broken was when I found out Spider-Man was unreal. The second time is when the browser company discontinued Arc. But they're back with their new browser, Dia. And is it any good? I'm going to use three things to judge if the Dia browser is a good browser. Aesthetic, utility, and the future. Now, I will say this. For the last, I would say, maybe two weeks, it's been my daily driver. And I'll just tell you in advance, I really like it. I didn't think I would. I didn't want to because I was pretty salty with how Arc ended up. But I really, really like it. Now, let's get into it. First things first, aesthetic. These guys get it. These guys get it. The browser company gets it. Arc was beautiful. And Dia is no less beautiful. If you've seen like the opening animation of when you load up the browser and the onboarding, it was just chef's kiss. I don't know who the designers on the team are, but if you're watching this, yo, you're, you are amazing. Because the just the elegance of the browser, how it makes me feel when I work, is is very important and it's great one thing i will say is about tools um, that i use especially on the day-to-day -day, um, aesthetic really matters to me and i know it sounds cheesy and weird but i like the things that i'm going to be using on a day-to-day -to, -day to feel and look nice right so my browser needs to look nice my like code editor like my vs code editor cursor windsurf like i i flop back and forth with all of them I change themes every three, four days because if I'm not feeling the theme, I actually can't work. It's weird. I need the aesthetic to feel right. And I will say so far, although there's some things missing with DN, we'll, we'll share what it is. Um, it's looking good. It feels good. I really enjoy it. Second is utility. Other than, you know, regular browsing, what makes this browser unique? If I have like Chrome, why should I even change? Now, if aesthetic doesn't matter to you, then I think the utility will. Now, you might see on the top right this little chat uh, button over here that pops up a, like a sheet uh, where I can chat with an AI model, I'm presuming GPT-4, or even when I open a new tab and I say, what is uh, the funniest joke in the world? You can see here, I have the option between chat and Google. And there are times where I rather ask AI the question then Google and click on a link. And I will say this, the chat feature on Dia actually feels good and useful. I've been using it for actual work, like whenever I wanna do research, or let's say there's like a website I pop open and like there's a lot of information, I just wanna to get to the important stuff, or I can't even find the link to something. I will literally ask the chat, oh, find this, what does this say, right? Like I think something, uh, quick I can show you it's like oh I was, I was doing a Bible study prepping for a sermon I'm gonna be uh, teaching soon so I have my Bible gateway app here and then I have a commentary here and then I popped open the chat and I was asking the chat questions and it felt really nice it felt really useful it it wasn't forced at first when I heard that like it was essentially going to you know wrap itself around AI and the tabs are gonna be context I felt like it was too much and I was like, oh, but my information, I don't need, you know, all that nonsense a lot of us say, but it feels really, really nice and useful. So in terms of utility, I, I would say the chat feature is pretty good. Now there's some things missing and I'll be sharing in a bit, like some of the things that team, if you're watching this, Josh, if you're watching this, my people and I need these things ASAP. So aesthetic is good. I really like the chat utility. Now future. Let's be honest, a lot of us were heartbroken with Arc. Um, the team made the decision to pivot. Did we all agree? No, but they made the decision either way. Now, Dia feels good, and I am praying literally that this is the browser that they stick with. I know they're the browser company, so um, it makes sense that they'll probably make multiple browsers, but I really, really hope this is the one they stick with because so far it feels really really good and if they take all the learnings from arc all the things that we loved about arc and they start to implement it on dia i really do think this will be the browser of choice for many of us now what i need asap team if you're watching this we need the sidebar now i know someone um i, I tweeted this josh responded and then someone from the team did a screen recording and a lot of people are excited but this needs to be in prod tomorrow if it's a friday and you're watching this push to prod now we'll worry about stability later number two is profiles i miss profiles i loved having uh, like specific sections of my life for specific profiles for example i had a profile for my ministry for my christian stuff i had a profile for my engineering stuff i had a profile for work i had a profile for finances and none of those information none of that none of that stuff intertwined i loved it beautiful we don't have that right now, and I don't like it. So please, team, we need this ASAP. 
Number three, renaming tabs. I'm one of those people who I'm a chronic, like, like not a tab closer. Like, I feel like I'm missing out from the tab. So uh, I leave tab tabs open. It'd be nice. Like an arc, if I could rename the tabs, change the icon, it almost feels like files to me. So that would be great. And number four to the chat. I, I think this is something that I'm sure you guys are thinking of, but if you aren't, come on, uh, we need to add MCP to the chat. Uh, it, I'd love to be able to like use the chat to like, you know, maybe I, there's a linear ticket I need to know more about, or I need to search some files in my Google Drive, whatever, like, you know, MCP use case a lot of people have. I think it's some low hanging fruit that if you add it, a lot of people would be excited for. Now, I do have one wish list item. If you love me, if you really love me, please add a Notion style, Notion style notes app. Now, people might just say, why don't you use Notion? I do. I don't like the web version. I like the desktop app, but I just want to stay on my browser. So if like simple, like you can literally use tip tap, simple editor doesn't even have to have AI. It just needs to feel nice. That would be fantastic. And then I can use the chat to the side. Oh my goodness. That would cook. So please team, if you're watching this, a notion style notes app would be good. And for those of you who are watching, let them know in the comments down below what it is that you want to see. Now, one last thing I would like to say, and this is specifically for the browser company team is please, please do not break our heart. Uh, Arc was a big loss to a lot of us. You know, business is business at the end of the day. We might not understand, but you know, y'all the company at the end of the day, but it, it really feels like a lot of people are excited. I'm excited. This browser feels great. Uh, just don't mess this one up. We're rooting for you. I'm rooting for you. And there will be a lot of suggestions. Folks, for those of you who are watching, if you have suggestions, if you have complaints, things you don't like about Dia Browser, let them know in the comments down below. The browser company is essentially getting free consultation session from myself and you who are watching. Those of you, let them know in the comments down below. I really do think a browser is important. It really matters to me. I'm on the internet like a lot and my work environment needs to feel nice. And after Arc, I, I went around different browsers. Zen was great, but it was Firefox based. That That was one thing that really hurt my soul um and dia just feels nice so keep it up really enjoying it so far couple things that need tweaking i'm hoping this is the one thank you so much everyone for watching this video if you want to check out the dia browser link is in the description appreciate y'all love y'all i'll see y'all in the next video god bless all of you in jesus name peace